When it comes to get-togethers, there's nothing as sociable or shareable as a plate of nachos. These are so easy to make. All you need is the old El Paso nacho dinner kit. And inside here, we have a packet of nat chips and two sachets of nacho topping. Along with those ingredients, we'll also need 150 grams of grated cheese, some guacamole, sour cream, and a jar of old El Paso jalapeno peppers. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat the oven. So that goes on 200 degrees centigrade, 180 if you have a fan assisted oven and gas smart four. So while the oven is heating, we need to get our nat chips and put them in our baking tray. Put half the packet into the bottom of the tray, just roughly put them in the center. And then on the top of that, we're going to squeeze some of our nacho topping. Just dot it around, just roughly, the messier the better. Then you put on half your grated cheese. And then put your remaining nat chips on the top. Just almost piling them up so they all stick together with the melted cheese. And then on the top of there, you open your other bag of nacho topping. A few more squeezes. Again, it's so easy when you do it straight out of the sachet. And then finally, the grated cheese. Nice, generous amount so that it really begins to bubble and ooze. Right, now that's ready to pop into the oven for about 10 minutes. So the nachos have been in for about 10 minutes. Let's see if they're ready. Perfect. And that's exactly what you want. That gorgeous, bubbly, oozy cheese that's just starting to go brown. Very quickly, whilst the cheese is still hot, you need to just half your quantity, just because it's a manageable amount to be able to put on your, your serving dish. And on. Whoa, look at that gorgeous cheese. There we go. And you basically want to stack it up so you've got a nice tower. And then all we need to do is dot our accompaniments on the top. So I'm using sour cream, nice big generous dollops, so that there's plenty for everyone. Then our guacamole. Again, nice generous amount. And I tend to place them in the centre so that everyone can then use their chips and dip in. And then finally, just add some jalapeno peppers, just to give it that extra fire. Obviously, if you wanted it to be more of a hearty snack, then there's nothing to stop you from putting in succulent pieces of meat or chicken, just to make it a bit more filling. And then all we need to do then, for an extra bit of colour, is garnish it with some chopped coriander. Sprinkling, how beautiful is that? Perfect. Now let's tuck in 